Hola amigos, feliz viernes, hoy es viernes, yo soy Rory y estoy contento de estar aquí contigo. This is our first Friday back from our summer Spanish immersion programs. We were there for five weeks and had about 60 some clients in country and we just had a wonderful experience. I think everyone had all this pent up uh energy to travel and uh yeah we had tons of covid precautions we had to take while we were traveling but everyone had just a wonderful time and learned tons of spanish so i'm so glad to be back into the swing of things with you and video viernes after uh after a fun summer abroad so hoy nuestra nuestro tema es 38 profesiones médicas but not just the medical professions also las especialidades that correspond to those professions we're going to see that they are uh, similar in in words but they'll have different endings okay before we get started with that though i want to let you know there's a time sensitive free 10-day medical spanish master class if you are ready to boost your spanish over the course of 10 days join leslie and i and our team of teachers for a free 10-day medical spanish master class it's only offered twice a year and uh, you can earn four CME CE credits for free just for participating. So uh, follow the link right here on the video to make sure that you get registered for the masterclass that's coming up in the beginning of September. Okay, let's get started. Remember I was saying with about these words that are similar with profesión and especialidad, it's las terminaciones that is going to make a difference. We've got some terminaciones comunes for profesiones and terminaciones comunes for especialidades. Entonces, ólogo is a very common ending for professions and ista is another one that we'll see. And then the most common terminación for especialidades is ia. Okay, now some of these words are gonna look really long, but if you can remember that it's ending in just ólogo, then that will help you with your pronunciación. Let's, let's look at some examples. Okay, so we've got profesiones here and especial, especialidades ahí. El anestesiólogo, el anestesiólogo. Y anestesiología is the especialidad. El audiólogo, el audiólogo, audiologist. Y audiología. El cardiólogo, cardiologist, cardiología. La, el cirujano o la cirujana, cirugía. Okay, muy bien. This one doesn't fit our pattern, but it's está bien. The especialidad does. El consejero, consejería. Counselor. El dentista, odontología. Odontología doesn't look anything like el dentista, but there is another word for dentist, odontólogo. Um, but dentista is super común. All right. El dermatólogo, dermatologist, dermatología. El dietista. I don't really have one for dietitian, but I thought you'd want to know what a dietitian is. Okay, muy bien. Profesiones. El doctor o el médico. La doctora, la médica. La especialidad, medicina. Medicine, ¿verdad? El emergenciólogo. Uh, an emergency medicine physician, ¿verdad? Eh, emergencia, emergencia. El médico gener generalista. Medicina general. El médico internista. Medicina interna. El médico residente, uh, resident physician, eh, la residencia médica, ¿verdad? El endicron, endocrinólogo, excuse me, el endocrinólogo, endocrinología, endocrinología. El ginecólogo o la ginecóloga, eh, ginecología. Neurólogo, neurología. You see how it's going? Continuamos with enfermero, enfermería. Enfermero de práctica avanzada, a good way to say uh, APN or nurse practitioner, ¿verdad? Still, enfermería, ¿sí? El asociado médico, this is our word for PA. Entonces, medicina. You could also make uh, an argument that medicina fits here for enfermero de práctica avanzada, ¿verdad? Ok, nutricionista, nutrición. Obstetra, ob obstetrician, obstetricia. Oncólogo, oncologist, oncología. Ophthalmologo, ophthalmología, okay? Ophthalmologo, ophthalmologist, right? Okay, continuamos. Eh, psicólogo, psicología. Neumólogo, pulmonologist, neumología. Ortopedista, orthopedic, orthopedist, ortopedia. Otorrinolaringólogo, otorrinolaringología, okay? El pediatra, pediatrician, pediatría. Podólogo, podiatrist, right? 
podología or podiatría, either one are both acceptable. Farmacéutico, pharmacist, farmacia. Terapeuta físico, physical therapist, terapia física. Psiquiatra, psychiatrist, psiquiatría. Okay, I think we've got one more here to go. Profesiones, eh, el radiólogo, radiologist, radiología. El terapeuta respiratorio, terap terapia respiratoria. El reumatólogo, rheumatologist, right? Reumatología. El trabajador social, social worker, trabajo social. El terapeuta del habla, terapia del habla, so therapist, speech therapist, right? El urologo, urologist. Urología. Okay, what about estudiantes? What about estudiantes? Estudiantes are always going to be estudiante de la especialidad, always student of the specialty. Let's take a look. So, estudiante de enfermería, nursing student. Estudiante de farmacia, pharmacy student. Estudiante de medicina, medical student. Estudiante de odontología, dental student. Estudiante de salud pública, so public health student. Estudiante de trabajo social, so uh, social work student. Bien. All right, so mucho vocabulario. Make sure you're using the Quizlet set on the blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you head over and to the blog post and uh, use the Quizlet vocabulary set to work on your vocabulario. Uh, pero en conclusión, make a comment here. Either with, if you're on the blog post, post on the blog. If you're on YouTube, just post on YouTube. Dos comentarios, por favor. Let's see if you can use this. What is your profession? And so I want you to use the verb ser. Yo soy... Yo soy, and put your profession. Yo soy, for me, it'd be yo soy instructor de español. Uh, but you might put yo soy enfermera, or yo soy doctora, whatever it might be, ¿verdad? And then who are the other professionals that you work with on a regular basis? Just use the vocabulary a little bit. It helps it, helps it gel with you, right? Okay, and so you could start your sentence with yo trabajo con, so for me, yo trabajo con, Estudiantes de medicina, enfermería, yo trabajo con médicos, enfermeros, etc. Right? So, um, whatever fits you, give it a shot. We'll take a look at them and, um, and give, you some, give you some tips if you, if you need some help with it. All right, muy bien. So, make sure you comment below, wherever you are. Muy bien. And otra cosa. Para practicar con su compañero. If you don't have a practice partner, make sure you head over to the Learning Medical Spanish Facebook group. And uh, here are some conversation things that you can do together. All right. Uh, quiz each other on the vocabulario. So, de una prueba de profesiones médicas a su compañero. First, go from Spanish to English and then from Inglés to Español. So, you set your practice time. Just quiz each other on some vocabulario. All right, and then para práctica más avanzada, if you want to have some more advanced level practice, puede describir la profesión en español estilo tabú. You could, you could style tabú, um, describe a profession without saying the name. So something like this. Este profesional es un doctor. Trabaja con niños. No trabaja con adultos. ¿Quién es? So you could do a little more, it's pediatra, right? Pedi pediatrician, because we're saying this professional is a doctor. He or she works with children. They don't work with adults. So who is it? All right, so you could do a little more advanced practice by, by using uh, taboo style uh, riddles with each other. All right, muy bien. Hey, if you learned something new today, make sure you like the video, subscribe it, subscribe to our channel so you can learn more with us, and uh, feel free to pass it along. Uh, pero gracias por aprender conmigo juntos. Realmente mejoramos comunidades. Para más español, head over to commongroundinternational.com, the website. Uh, and para tomar un examen uh, de español médico gratis, if you want to create a free account on CertifiedSpanish.com, you can take unlimited number of free medical Spanish terminology tests. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. Okay, amigos, nos vemos. Don't forget to register for the master class coming up in September if you're not already registered. Ciao, chicos.